Today we sailed from Culatra in Portugal to Mazagon. It's an uh, anchorage um, in Andalusia, so we are back in Spain now. It was a little bit sad to say goodbye and we enjoyed Portugal very much. Um, we stayed there longer than we planned. Um, yeah, but it was a little bit sad to say goodbye to our new little sailing family. <laughs> um, yes, and also when we went outside the channel, the waves were pretty bad. So we had a little bit of an adventure this morning. Um, it is now around seven uh, in the afternoon. And we made it to this anchorage. Um, it was a long day, but we had a uh, very nice weather. It was very hot, actually. <laughs> and yeah, now we are here, but we are only staying one night because tomorrow we will start our journey to Cadiz. <laughs> We calculated our trip to Cadiz with seven hours and we thought that we would be able to travel with a beam reach point of sail but sadly ended up beating into the wind and waves. It seems like we are experts in picking the wrong time to leave, because once again the wind was coming from the wrong direction and we had to deal with a choppy sea state that was very uncomfortable. With the wind directly on the nose it was impossible for us to hoist the sails. When we made it to Cadiz after 10 hours, the ocean finally calmed down and we were relieved to dock at the marina. Oh, okay, so we finally made it to Cadiz. This was a bit of a uncomfortable experience um yeah we are really happy that we made it here so yeah but on the upside i'm really excited that apparently i have uh, grown my sea legs now because i didn't get seasick and this kind of sea state was the textbook definition of uh, yeah getting seasick <laughs> For me at least, so yes, um, this is very, this is a, the good part about this, um, but yeah, the other stuff, I mean, beating into the wind is like the worst, I think, except from waves, big waves from the side or a storm probably. <laughs> um, yeah, but that was, yeah, very uncomfortable and, and very long and we are really happy to be here and tomorrow we can finally explore Cadiz.
6th of September and we are still at Cadiz. Um, we are a little bit trapped here <laughs> um, because of the wind. The wind uh, to continue is coming from the wrong direction and the last thing we want to do is to beat into the wind again. Um, yes, so we are staying a little bit longer at Cadiz than planned, but we don't really mind. Today we will meet up with the sea heroes, so we will meet Ronald and Fleur uh, in the city today. They are at an anchorage, but they will come over to the city with a ferry, and then we will explore Cadiz a little bit together. And yeah, it's going to be really fun to to meet them again and to yeah be able to continue this adventure a little bit with them. Um, yes, and because we are a little bit trapped here and because it's so boring, Max now has started to uh, strip the tow rails, uh, strip the varnish off the tow rails. And yeah, it's a little bit loud again, but it's nice to have shore power and to get this winter project started because when we were on the Isle of Wight, we didn't um, change or we didn't renew the varnish uh, on the tow rails. So we will do this during winter time and now we have time. And so Max has started this project. down to Cover Lake, take me back to yesterday, cause that's where I belong, on a rainy day, take me to that old cafe, we'll watch the teardrops drip away with everything. So today is our last day here at the marina at Cadiz. We are sailing across the bay to the anchorage where the sea heroes are staying and we will stay there one night. And tomorrow we will continue to sail to Babate. After a fun day of swimming and enjoying the anchorage together with Fleur and Ronald, we prepared Makani for leaving. Max went to bed quite early that night and so I watched the beautiful sunset alone in the cockpit.
Thanks for watching. Subscribe and join us next time when we make one more stop before we finally leave the Atlantic coast behind us and sail to the Mediterranean Sea. See you!